All right, ladies and gents, welcome. We've got round two for doubts. We won 3-0 in round number one against running in group A. And is round two as well for Vallis, who just got one win in his amazing series against Daniel. I expect an insane level here. I expect expect good preparation. And I expected the two villages to go forward for Vallis. Uh, with the Lithuanians, you've got extra food to work with, so you don't need as many villagers on food. And this has been extremely common. Now, Doubt does have one more hit sitting on his scout. He's got the stronger scout. But yeah, Doubt just knows something's up here. He knows there's going to be villagers coming forward. Now, good hits from Doubt thus far. But very well played there. And Doubt's got to get Loom. He is late on Loom at the moment. And right now, Valis is looping around with another villager. Now, I said the last time I saw this, which was just the other day, you got to take your elephant right away. I know it's awkward because you're doing everything else, but you have to take your elephant. Otherwise, he's going to take your elephant. Elephant's not exactly chasing right now. Valis is probably looking at the villager fight. So he's got to go back to that. This is not easy to execute on if you're either player. Valis loses his scout. He's on the move with Doubt's Elephant right now. But, I mean, if Doubt's able to kill the Vill, it could be pretty decent. So not the worst start ever for Doubt. Elephant on the way home. I mean, this could kill the Vill. So Valis will probably have to house trick this, which we'll see right here. House trick. Your other villager's still alive. House trick. Palisade trick. House trick. And now, yeah, very well executed here from Valis. Why are people saying restart? Should be restart, Team 90. Need to contact them. Wait, what happened? Why? Sorry, I missed it. Does it say pop limits 250? What? How do we know the pop limits 250, chat? Honestly, I mean, like... I think they could just easily just not have more houses over 250. I think is I think we play it. I I mean, but I don't know how we contact them. What do we do? I've never encountered this before. Obviously, I, I feel like a lot of stuff has happened. I think we play this, guys. I can't I can't have these players. We're not going to force a restart because of 250 pop. I think they'll realize and and deal it out deal with it later. A lot has happened in this game. It would be very unfair to Valis and Doubt with how they've dealt with the threats in a very important game. I, I think that this is something we've just got to move on with. I, and I didn't see that, but thanks for letting me know. I, I, I think that's the right decision. Because what would you say if you're Valis? You've stolen the guy's elephant, and because it was 250 pop, you've got to restart the whole thing. You know? I think we just move on here, and we roll with the punches, all right? Thanks for letting me know. At the end of the day, Valis started with the extra food. He's now got two elephants underneath his TC. He also got the lumber camp up over here, and he's going to be chopping through the water. For Doubt, he killed one villager from Valis, which is a positive for him. And he's done a good job to you know get over to the lumber camp at the same time and try and chop through. Now, you need to really micro these vills. It's actually really annoying. Uh, I've noticed a couple times where the villagers clump up. But Doubt's paying attention. He's going to go through. Eventually, they will realize, I guess, that it is apparently 250 pop. But I, I can't even verify that myself right now because it doesn't show that with Capture Age. So I'm just taking people's word for it. And yeah, it is true. It's balanced. So they both get 250 pop. <laughs> so this is the start the Lithuanians are really good at. And uh, Andy, who had a phenomenal series against Hera, he did this. But what he lacked, and I actually spoke with Andy about it afterwards, was he lacked the lumber camp with two vills through. If you watch that series, and you should definitely go watch it if you haven't, he just had one villager here, which then gave Hera an opportunity to chop through first and then send a villager to wall behind here. So both players are going to add docks. Both players are going to add fishing ships. Obvious difference, though, as that house is going to annoy me all game. Um, oh, 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 oh! Oh, Doubt's Villager almost got walled in. Yeah, the obvious difference as Valis is just tempting Doubt to try that again is that Valis has the food underneath his TC as well. Hera Andy was yesterday. Crazy series. I'm going to have to talk about results in all honesty because it's a day-by-day -day thing. And I think it's, you know, I'm going to mention it many times. Uh, Andy with a big upset there, 2-1. And uh, he looked very well prepared. Hera 
seemed like uh, maybe like some other players in TTL this far. Needs to get a few more reps in on the maps, but he'll be back. He'll be good. It's a long group stage. So thankfully for doubt, he is Italians, but like he's really struggling right now. He's like, give me the food because it's cheaper for him to get up. And there he goes. Chose not to farm. And he's gone to wood and there's his dock. And this is what we call a good old dock block. Now, Scout being down for Vallis. Now he's not going to know exactly what Doubt is up to. And Doubt now sees the barracks from Vallis, so this will indicate some type of strategy utilizing that barracks. Vallis going to dock block as well, it seems. So both players able to fish. It's rather inefficient to do so, though, if you fish from the dock you block with. So Doubt is now going for this. And I, I love this adjustment from Doubt. This is great. You know land army is coming. Your opponent... Hasn't shown you any army yet. You are behind economically. The way you fall behind in this game is if you try and play land. So instead, you wall up the front and then you fish boom. And you've got cheap fishing ships. So this is really nice from Doubt. And we might actually see a similar thing from Valis. Because it seems to me like this villager is headed elsewhere to dock. But, you know, in many ways, I think it suits the Italians more. And Valis hasn't clicked up yet either. Valis had two elephants and he still hasn't clicked? Whoa, man. I guess he couldn't push in the the ele the uh, the zebras here. He's been walking a lot. So cheaper feudal age for Doubt. And Doubt's just going to fish boom. Doubt's in a great position here, guys. Yeah, and, and it's kind of weird because you don't really know how good your position is. There's a lot of stuff that's uncertain at the moment from both of them. But considering Doubt at least has the scout, I think this made him a little uneasy. But yeah, Valis has just switched this into a fast castle here. Valis has said, okay, well, I hope he doesn't make anything. I'll wall up in the meantime. This is... I mean, maybe it's a fast castle. This is, this is rough. And I'll actually check res collected. Right now, res collected, it's actually even. Uh, dealt with the slight lead, obviously, and that should grow for him because of the fishing ships. So I really thought Dealt was going to pick Malay here. It really worked out for him. He picked Italians. I think having... To, <laughs> if he had to have 500 food to go feudal, he would have struggled a whole lot more than the... What is it with Italians? Like 420 or something? It's like 418, 438. I don't know. It, there's a 4 in it. Um, So, you know... That bonus paid off, and now he's fish booming like crazy. And Doubt will just head up towards Castle H long term here. Every fractal game we've seen has been a little bit different. But this one was heavy lames and dark age into a fast castle from both. And Ellis will still be okay. But I, I don't see how you really change it. Like right now, what's your way of coming back? It's 495. No, it's not. Not with Italians. It's around like 420-ish, right? I forget what I forget what it is. It's like 18% or like 15% or I should know the numbers. Anyways, market's going up for doubt. His favorite building. Blacksmith going up for doubt. I honestly could see him going to stone and considering Genoese crossbowman. Uh your stone's exposed, but doubt does have his scout still. So he can scout other areas of the map, and he should know that Valis doesn't have army. Valis is on stone already. And Doubt actually sells his stone just so he can get up a little bit faster, which does surprise me because I feel like sometimes players might want to boom on the back of this, but where are you going to boom when you have not been able to cut towards the outer region? That is an important thing to mention here. Valis has a lumber camp, so he's cutting towards the south, so he will be able to free up all this space. And there's that market for Valis. But, like, okay, I guess Doubt's going to pressure an early castle age. Don't really associate the Italians with a siege spear or a siege monk type thing. But I could see Fast Imp being an option. And, yeah, thank you, guys. It's uh, 425. I just get around, like, 420 and just keep clicking feudal. <laughs> and it's the same thing. I don't know what it, it exactly is to go up to castle. But I think it's around 680. <laughs> and then for Imp, I think it's like 
I, around 900. That's just like how my brain works. But I could easily just... Especially with a thousand food, I should be able to do the math there, I guess. That's just how I think about it. The Dell will have plenty of resources. He's adding a stable now, and there he goes to stone. So it feels like maybe some map control for him. And at last, we see some navy from somebody. So Dow will make some fire galleys. Feels like this could have happened much earlier. But we'll see if he wants to get the war galley upgrade in. Pro player. Hey, I have relevant knowledge, okay? Relevant knowledge. Specific knowledge is not necessarily relevant knowledge. Relevant to what happens in the game and how it affects the game, I'm pretty good at. <laughs> Specific little things, I'm not horrible at, but it's just not something I spend a lot of time on. So just two on stone right now for Valus. He did make some spears, though, so he's been able to scout a bit. He sees the monastery now. Which makes sense. There's relics towards the middle, and Dallas is Lithuanians. So, those relics can be important there. Uh, there is the first fire. It has found the dock block, and Valis is going to make a galley behind it to shoot that down from range. Also, you can... Oh, oh, you can hit the villager over trees. Interesting. Then you have to make a palisade. You can't hit the villager over a palisade, but you can hit the villager over trees. Now it's kind of like the dock and the palisade somehow blocking it. God, I love this game. Triple monastery! Oh, what the crap? Holy, okay. Well, I mean, I'm not that surprised because Valis is Lithuanians and he's lacking map control and Lithuanian monasteries work faster. Res collected now? Let's look. Doubt's been ahead. He's had more on wood, more on gold, though. The food count's actually pretty similar. Doubt goes for TC number two. Oh my god, he's going for tons of scouts back here. Holy, I love how he hid the stables. I think there's got to be a part of Doubt right now that is doubting his own strategy. And he's just probably like, oh no, what are my scouts even doing? But Valis doesn't have any indicator that his opponent's going for that. He should research town patrol and his house would see it. <laughs> Valis here looking to move out. He does have atonement. But Doubt does not have that. And Doubt will realize. And one monk switches sides. Now here come the scouts. Okay, another monk's going to get deleted. And Valis now knows the scouts are here. And this is why Doubt prepared them. Great damage control from Valis, though. And Doubt not wanting to give up a scout runs away. Could have been way worse for Valis. Now he knows he needs lots of spears. And Doubt getting the light cap upgrade. I still find it notable that Doubt didn't chop through here faster. I think, like, this is really smart. We have saw so many games go on for a long time. Viper had the same issue against Tata where he didn't, he couldn't expand his eco into the back. Uh, it, granted, he was pushing a little bit. But yeah, like, if Doubt isn't pushing mid... And it's just kind of all the same there for both players. And then Valis is able to expand in the south corner. I think could be really good in the long run. Adding Siege is nice. Because you might want to go Siege against the Spears. But Monks can convert the Siege too. So it's, it's really tricky when there's Monks involved, man. But that TC is now a target. It's like, hey, come hit me. It does also protect from any Monks or Siege hitting the Villagers. It's, there was two galleys here, by the way, and Doubt just gave up on making shifts. So it's just a free fish boom for both. Also, Doubt's fish trapping. Doubt is, is doing a good job here. His black forest training paying off. This is becoming more meta. Uh, we'll see Valus do the same, I imagine. And oh god. Oh god, atonement's in for both. The light cab were way out of position here. And Valus gets a ton of conversions, and Valus gets the gate down in front of the light cab. Huge plays for Valis. He gets conversions he wouldn't have otherwise gotten because of the block. He's still got Spearman to protect. He does actually pull out a position, though. But some the monks that are left over hop into the TC. Ultimately, not completely horrible for Doubt. But now, as I say that, he's probably going to lose his monk. He then could lose his mangonel. And then he's going to lose the next monk. And if that happens, this could be problematic. Because both players are building up towards a castle right now. 
And Doubt has not cut out to the outer area. Big shot from Doubt, and you're kidding. Okay, did you see Caravan come on the screen for a second? That was a market hotkey. You're kidding, Doubt. It's like it, it, you know it's gonna happen every single time he plays this game. He is making a castle next to his opponent's siege workshop. Seems risky to me, but he's gonna get it up, and I think Valus is gonna let it go up. Because Valus realizes it's gonna be hard to stop. And again, Valus has expanded to the south. That is his Imperial Age town center. And all Valus wants right now is to play defense. Doubt just killed his own light calf. He wants to play defense. He wants a castle behind this. And then he wants trips. And I am scared for Doubt because he has not clicked Imp yet. That said, Doubt's eco isn't bad. He could still try and get Imp himself here. It is cheap for him. He's collected more resources. He's just invested more, right? And he balances out his eco at the market he'll click up to. Yeah, Doubt's still in a good position. But I think... If Valus is expanding economically in the south while Treb pushing Doubt forward, I really feel as though Doubt's long term could be problematic because he's still not through here. That's just my feeling. The fact that there's like very little farming eco for Valus means that he's many steps behind though. It gives Doubt some pretty big opportunities. And Doubt, he might choose to expand this way. And yeah, you see there's a TC place. I like this too. This is good. You, you have to benefit from having the light calf control as much as you can. And who knows? Maybe you get pushed here in the middle, but if you can take all this stone and gold too, it could be really nice. There's stone and gold in the front for both players every time on this map, but then there's also stone and gold here, and there's also stone and gold that you can cut through. So there's, there's stone and gold everywhere. Doubt. Oh my god. He could kill all those monks. Oh my god. Ah! He just kills one. That's so disappointing for him. Valus wasn't paying attention. And now the Manganel could be converted. Doubt trying to convert those monks before the monks get more range. Makes sense. Any monks he converts, it's fine for him. And okay. Well, here we have it. First Treb's on the way for Valus. Doubt's still a minute away from Imp. Zero villagers on stone. And, well, that might change here. But the rest of his stones here are on the front. You need to protect this Treb with walls, if you're Valis. Got tons of monks. This should be time, in theory, where the fishing ships start to go to fish trap. I'm not seeing it, guys. No fish trapping yet. You look at Dow, he's fish trapping. Dow's farming. Dow still chopping through slowly. The Valis has been a lot more fixated on this push. Dow now hits the Imperial Age. But there's going to be two Trebs firing on Doubt's castle by the time he gets one out. And there's going to be another castle for Valus as well. Valus is going to drop the castle close to this. So it's a middle push for Valus right now. Doubt sees this, but I think he'll respect the monks. I, I think with the monks having 12 range, you can't get close to this. Monks are really, really strong. We see them more and more every day. Like have our supposed counter. You see the... This is going to be a real test of Alice's Monk Micro. He switched conversions onto a bunch of different units coming in. Like have Manganel gets converted. And then into the TC goes Valus with the rest of the monks. Meaning his castle can protect. Doubt's castle does go down. Very nice play from Valus. And now he's out of the TC. Goes for more conversions. And if it's not going well, whoop, right back inside. Again, castle fire helps out. That's exactly how you need to play this position. Lovely play from Valus who does know that Doubt's got the TC over here. So again, Doubt is not free, right? So if this push continues forward, he is stuck here. He has to face this now. There is no running. There is no expansion possible. But Valus actually choosing to go this way. And he doesn't know that Doubt's not through the backside. So that would make sense. But Doubt trying to switch into archers right now. Not a bad decision in combination with the light calf. But these villagers are all exposed. And look at Valus. Wall it up. This is so good. Walling it up. So Dow can't escape with these vills. That's what? 14 villagers that will go down to the two light cab that Valus converted. I love that. Because, yeah, he didn't have army here originally, which could be an issue. But he just walled it off. 
And I don't know what you do if you're down. Like, just build a tower or something. He's going to make an archery range. It's a distraction, right? It's a building that has to be trapped down. It does buy time for doubt in this area. So that's good. That was so comfortable with these monks, though. 12 range. And Doubt hates monks, so there's like a big fear, and I would be fearful of it if I were up against Valus. Doubt actually killed? That's funny. Doubt actually killed the light cap there. This is important, guys. Because Valus is distracted here. And Doubt actually finding a really nice engagement here. He'll kill a lot of the monks. You need an army that's more than just monks here. Also, random Trev from Doubt over here? Huh? I, you know, I expected Valus to have fish traps and to have farms. His eco is actually not looking all that good. I think Doubt can hold this. And Doubt still has a position here, and Valus is just going to castle it. Clearly, though, Valus struggling to push and get his eco right at the same time. Which means Doubt has time to expand, which is pretty exciting. Doubt will lose a few more arms to the monks. This TC is the monk's best friends. Hill forts would genuinely be a really good tech right now if you're using the town center like this. God, man, his monk control is so good. And oh god, this castle is going to be denied! Doubt has denied a castle. Wait, 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 wait. No, it goes up. Okay, well, you know, it's still exciting. Still exciting. Not for Doubt's villagers. They're just going to sit there underneath that castle until a latest comes out. I'm shocked we didn't see a latest in the first place. Um, when he wanted to clear up those villagers, but he probably didn't expect Doubt to do what he did. And it's just, the eco is not there just yet for Valus, but it's getting there. Light cap moving out. Doubt. His main issue is that he hadn't expanded his eco. I think he's fine as long as he expands. And he's now able to expand. He's left his, his trap very exposed here. And again, we've got monks moving in. But this is not... This can't be worth it. it. Like, you need to... There needs to be more army here. This is... I know monks are strong. But you need to use monks in combination with something if you're Valus. Doubt is... Doubt is still here. Murder Halls was never researched. And is Valus about to use Trebs to kill the Arbs? Like, what's happening? Guys, Doubt is okay. He's okay. He could maybe take these relics home. He's somehow in this. He actually got through with arms as well. Doubt is in a great spot. Valus still is to play catch up with that economy. He's got to balance the push with the economy. And what Doubt's doing a really good job of, this is still happening, by the way. This is still happening. I don't, I don't understand. No university? He can't afford murder holes. Got it. Um, th th the issue here is, Every time he tries to stabilize his economy, Doubt is going to push him. So Doubt's had the perfect balance of defense, but then raid, and then this annoyance has actually paid off. Okay, now Doubt's going to lose this. And he'll lose the range. Now this is a non-issue, but I mean, it, it is an issue that that was an issue in the first place. A lot of guys probably calling for skirms out there, and obviously we are going to see skirms, but Valus didn't have the upgrades yet. He's working on that now. Monk plays are low eco, guys, and a lot of focus on those monks, right? Doubt just deletes those. And with you having all that focus on your units, you're not able to do this. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's 12 of the food eco that's on screen that's not actually bringing in food. Whereas Doubt's fishing ships are bringing in food. Final, great job from Dallas to clear this up. Just curious on Doubt's plan to break this double castle position. I think as long as Doubt continues more of the same with Lycav and Arbalest, he'll be okay. Trebs instead of Bomber Cannons probably makes more sense because the monks can't convert the Bomber Cannons. I also feel as though the key for Doubt, as I've been saying, is expand to that corner and the west. If Doubt does that, he's fine. And here Doubt goes in with Lycav. Valus not having the support, loses one trap. And, oh, that's huge for Doubt. Oh, this is huge. Doubt killed two trebs there. He's also killed the treb with this Bomber Cannon now. And this is as Valus is adding farms and tech switching, right? So this is just, this is just him prioritizing his time on other things. And as he does that, I mean, soon the skirms might start coming out. 
but is our skirms alone going to be enough when doubt still has like have and bomber cannons for that now this is where again bomber cannons become very risky and bomber cannon goes down and doubt comes in with more like have here this is intense stuff because all the pressure is like right in the middle it's really hard to do all the eco things you need to do and to pull back bomber cannons when this is happening and doubt also wait a second he doesn't have a castle how did he get this treb is this the treb that was on the right side earlier that he just kept alive this whole time that's a pretty big deal that doubt doesn't have a castle yet to make more trebs that gives Valus a lot of time if Valus could just take this treb out with his own trebs and convert the cannons. If Valus holds this, Valus will have like a couple core moments to be able to, to stabilize this eco. And he's kept his eco count really high. The upgrades, unfortunately, are lacking for him right now. The monks need to spot that bomber cannon again. And this is what happens when the player's doing other things and he sees it now. Doubt gets to take the treb though. I mean, Doubt is making another castle, so he'll have more trebs soon. So that's fine. But I, I honestly, at this point, though, the skirms are... And the skirms should be a pretty decent addition. Still needs a bit more in the way of upgrades, but we're seeing that now. No ballistics really hurts. Because the castles that aren't even doing as much as they could be. And Doubt takes out two more trebs. Oh, boy. He doesn't get that one. There's also only seven monks. I say only, but it's Valus we're talking about. He might want a few more. Doubt's trying to switch the focus of attack here with Lightcap. Still nowhere to really go there. What a great job from Doubt. What a great game from both. It's 150 pop for both. It's been back and forth. Ridiculous army comps. The skirms are looking dangerous, though. If only ballistics came in for them. And if Doubt engages with the light cap between two castles, the light cap will die. So it's like, uh, assuming Ballistics comes in. It's really important that Doubt takes out one of these castles. I think he can do it. He pushed the monks back. The monks are going to hop out of the castle now to try and convert Bomber Cannons. Gets one. Uh, might end up getting two. It, there's also a gold worry for Doubt. I think I, I will show it in a moment, but it wouldn't surprise me if Doubt runs out of gold soon. Same with Valis. Because, like, this gold can't be taken. Doubt's taking gold in the front here. I wish I could show you, but the fight's happening. But basically, they've got to expand into those other areas. All while this is happening. Doubt doesn't have a ton of vision beyond this, right? He doesn't... He knows there's probably gold there, but he hasn't scouted it. Valis has scouted that gold. Wouldn't surprise me if we see him TC in one of these golds any second now, Valis. And I guess he's got this too. Okay, I forgot about that. Skirms will soon have full blacksmith upgrades. Doubt continues to lose Bomber Cannons to Monks. Doubt chose the wall. So if he hates Monks, that's his home map. Can't wait to see that one later. And this combination of Pikeman and Skirm, very interesting. The Light Cap can kill the Skirms. The Pikes... It will die to the arbs, but at the same time, you can reverse it and say the skirms kill the arbs and the pikes kill the calf. So it's so tricky. And then the monks convert the cannons. Doubt sees the monks. He wants the monks. The monks aren't converting. They are now. Uh, the castle falls. Castle falls, and Valus, with more population, calls the GG. There's actually both castles that fell there, and I think he really felt like the castles were, were needed and that this would snowball against him now. And while on, we can see it's 154 population to 146, I think Doubt's going to grind him down now. This fight goes better for Doubt. Doubt then has the siege to be able to push down all these buildings. The monks, the annoying freaking monks, were only going to come out of these two monasteries. Those would go down as well. And Doubt gets the job done in the first game. It was a really good game. I, I love how even though the monks were strong, we got to see the downside of it here, right? We got to see the economic downside. The, Valis was so late for certain upgrades when he tried to 
to tech switch because he relied on the monks so long and felt the need to continue to have him push. And doubt like he took some bad fights this game, but he just kept making light calf and he kept consistent with his economy and he just stuck to his guns. Um, I don't know how many bomber cannons were converted, maybe like five or six, but I think he did a good job. Someone asked, did Valis throw by focusing too much for too long on monks? Well, well, that's that's where I want to go back to this, right? If he stops making monks to try and switch into skirms, and he doesn't have the monks to consistently push and threaten doubt and have the trebs, then doubt punishes him for that. So you you have to continue to, to do something with monks. I think he yes he could have had upgrades faster, and he could have had other things faster, but essentially. The success that Valis had to gain this position was because of the monks, but he wasn't able to push much beyond it because of of how he got to those monks. It's that food eco, that wood eco. He didn't focus on it when Doubt did. Doubt did it much earlier in the game. When Doubt was going for light cap Arbalest, it was a really back and forth game. Could have gone either way. Um, wood, food, gold collected there from Doubt. Impressive. And uh, army high, army consistently produced as well out of those buildings. So Dow takes game one. So one of the worst maps to speed up through, but we're doing it. And uh, it's Socotra, guys. This is the home map for Valis. This is where he feels at home. And it's crazy. And again, catching up to live time. There was a very lamey start to the previous game. And it seems to be the same here. As we had Valis go forward, he will lose his eagle and actually has a very weak villager here. And the lion's going after it. And the quick walls from Valis very well executed. Villager should be okay. Now, key moments, key things I, I noticed is that both players took their elephants. So with both players having taken the elephant, it, that's huge. Now the lion wants to go for another Valis villager. And he gets another quick wall down. But now if he runs, he could lose his vills. He actually needs to de-aggro the lion. Oh, it, it happened. And now the lion's going after doubt. Ooh, what happens here? Oh, 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 oh. Scout, 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 scout. Doubt. Okay. Doubt needs to save his villager from a lion. I'm so excited for this. He's probably just going to block. Doubt, block it. Oh my god, okay, he did the math. I was gonna say, if he lost that villager, a lot of pros block with the other vill there. Well, great start for Doubt. And he's gone Malay here, by the way. I just realized he was Malay. He doubt is he still is a scout alive. His opponent's eagle is dead. And uh he didn't get lamed that heavily. His opponent lost a villager. Great start. One HP villager got back home. This is what Valis wanted. And Doubt's probably like, don't lay me again. All right? Because it's going to be the same thing. There won't be any laming in the next game because that'll be on a closed map. But So this should be all about if early feudal age is a possibility here. Um, I do like the early mill from Valis as part of this build instead of going for the lumber camp early. That's going to help him with food income and competing with a fast feudal age time on the belay. The hunt position's also been very good. Doubt hasn't exactly done any damage to Valis's eco. Doubt does know, though, where things are located. Uh, and might have even seen the villagers going back there for the lumber camp. That is a snug place to have a lumber camp. If I had to guess, I would say that Doubt will open like militia into archers. Could see a barracks coming up soon because he's got the wood for it. Uh, could see Doubt trying to go man at arm archer, but I think the food eco is going to be a little light to justify it. Like if he had two more sheep, I think you do that. But otherwise, I could see Doubt just choosing to just make one militia or no militia. Usually the militia openings aren't as good if your scout's weak because you can't block with the scout anymore. But maybe just super fast archers here for the Lord. You could tell he placed his lumber camp in the midst of the lames because he didn't scout his wood. And this actually is, like, really bad. Like, this lumber camp is going to last Valis such a long time. Ooh, Valis, shoot that once. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it with the vill over here. Shoot it. It'll go underneath the TC. Shoot it. Shoot it! 
Okay, well, yeah, just kill it there and then walk. Why don't you? All right, get your exercise. Anyways, I think it would be Archer opening as well for Valis here. Doubt. Oh, making the Militia. Forgot to go to gold, though. So it's two Militia into Towers, and I like the energy. It's Socotra. You're up very quickly here. This is Valis's point of view. He's also in the dark, so he doesn't know what he needs to react to. And that is a sneaky tower from Doubt. That is a really good tower. Perfect. Your opponent's going to see the militia. I have to pull away from that. Maybe even fights it. Tried to kill the scout. Doubt didn't allow it to happen. Doubt, get to the other side and block with these things once the tower's garrisoned. Yeah, yeah, let's go. That's sick. That's exactly what you need to try and do in that situation. And Valis, great job. Backs away. My concern for Doubt will be... He does not have... Don't kill the zebra. You you crazy villagers, you still hungry? Haven't you had enough? Um, my concern for Doubt will be no archer range. So it's tower into mining stone for another tower. But like... You've, you've denied their berries? Sure. But what happens if archers go over to your base? It might be a tower defense type of game for Doubt. We'll see. Doubt's scouting to see what Valus is up to. He sees the barracks, and now he's going to see the range. I think there will be some worry of like, oh no. Do I defensive tower here? Do I go offense? I think you go offense with the next one. Maybe even, uh, I don't know about next to the range. Doubt might sacrifice the scout here to try and get a kill. Thus far, though, he's been really patient with it. And Valus was patient, too. Took most of the zebra. And it's nice when you don't have the berries anymore. Doubt got housed. Classic. In messy games. It's easy for that to happen. He's had a minute of idle TC time, but... He's the Malay, so still has a nice little vill lead. Valus has had a lot of villagers inside of that TC, and now you know why... Doubt did not wall his original tower. It, it feels like this is just like a, a... Such a big sin that so many pro players commit these days. I don't know why we're not walling in towers. I know Viper walled in his towers earlier today. But this is... This is... It's, it's a play that he might come to regret. Because suddenly the tower on the right side won't look so strong. This tower ends up getting battered down. Now it's tough times for Valis right now. This isn't easy. Doubt is repairing on the right side. He's also still got the Militia, but one Militia is now dead. The other one's weak. And Valis has done a phenomenal job. Three seconds of TC idle time? Excuse me? He's going to lose a Villager now. Let's see. And Doubt, th this might work out for Doubt. Doubt's done a really nice job. And it's going to be tough for these Vills to run away consistently. The Skirms go for the Vills, and Valis abandons the position. All right, nice job from Doubt. Gets another Vill kill. 3-0 Eco KD for Doubt. Now, he has to know those archers are going somewhere, right? And that wood line, it really, it, it pains me to have to look over here. So, uh, actually, the Eco setup is a disaster for Doubt in general. Valis is Eco. Otherwise, uh, apart from losing the villagers, it's quite nice. Uh, towers on the face could be a problem, though, and... Good work there. Valis taking a fight he's probably not... He doesn't know he's taking because he's distracted. And here come the archers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, it's just... The wood line's so bad. That's kind of why I'm chuckling. And Doubt's attempt at a trap is rather interesting. He's got skirms coming from another direction and ends up just protecting the vills for now. He needs to leave the lumber camp anyways, and here come the skirms. That will find these kills. Now, Doubt, please wall in your towers. Just with one vill. It'd be so good. And where do you go with these archers? Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> two, two skirms this way, three skirms the other way. Perfect play from Doubt. I love this. Now, Valis ideally would have some eagles here already. You can tell he's coming in with one, but that one eagle he lost a moment ago near that tower... Ends up being really bad for him. Had he had the eagle here, Doubt might not have gotten those kills. That said, Doubt should have killed every single one there. That's a very relatable moment for me. Somehow someone gets away with two archers. I feel like 
That shouldn't have happened. Okay, res collected here, guys. Res collected. Look at it. Pretty wild, right? Ballas has had a really good eco setup. He said more wood, more food, more gold. But he's had fewer villagers. I should mention, there's four tiles of stone available to each player. They're spread out, though. There's two tiles here for doubt and two tiles way over here. They're not really for a player, necessarily. It's just around. So the stone doubt is mining at Valus' base right now is stone that Valus will not have if doubt takes all of that. Doubt opts for a very interesting tower. I'm not sure that tower is actually needed in this situation but clearly some worry because of the eagles that his opponent has and again good job from Valus. the three eagles are out but doubt's going to be making archers in in com combination with skirms i i just i mean we said it already right you got a wall in your towers doubt though he does garrison this tower he doesn't have enough range to hit all the other villagers it feels like such an important position and if Doubt, when he built the tower, would have just walled it up, that these four villagers wouldn't be here. Potentially a very Doubt moment here as Valus tries to push. But, I mean, Doubt has killed so many vills. And he's correcting his eco back at home. This tower, though, is going to go down. And Doubt's army has to fall back towards now his one and only tower here. And Valus is on the way to the next stage. A an amazing job from Valus under all this pressure to know what to do. And Doubt... I, I've watched this guy play a lot of games. There's going to be a market in his future. Yep, just no fletching from Doubt either. We did a lot of damage at the expense of his eco. And even just the early lumber camp affected the efficiency. Just because of all the craziness we had uh, sped up through. The Valus is gold. Valus can make eagles. Valus hasn't had to use any of his stone at all. We'll see if Valus feels as though he needs to tower this. He's going to. And if Valus can continue to make eagles, these things will be upgraded in the next stage. And I think Doubt's forward villagers, all of his ranged army, everything could die. Feels weird to see the eco KD be 3 0 and then have me prefer Valus's position economically. To see Doubt have so many vills and then prefer Valus's position economically. That might even kill another villager here. Also, the Incan villagers are affected by the infantry armor that we just saw researched in Castle Age. So it's much harder to kill Incan villagers soon. Doubt's tower is just going to get battered down again. He didn't wall it in. This one's harder to wall in. But again, there's a theme here. And these eagles, Valus is going to see this ranged army. This whole army's dead. The villagers actually are about to get armor. They're like, don't attack me yet. This isn't fair. I'm not in Castle Age. I think those vills were going forward for a siege workshop. And what? What is that quick wall? Whoa! Whoa! No way. No freaking way. No way she no way they survive. Okay, what about her? Round two. Ah, I think she's gonna be okay as well. Those were some sick saves from Valis. Don't ask me how he did it. But Doubt probably can't believe that happened. And there's the siege workshop now from Valis, and Doubt hasn't clicked up yet, so Doubt's gonna go for man at arms! He's going to stay in feudal. Dropping the barracks. We got supplies on the way. It's cheaper. It only costs food. All right, sorry, it doesn't only cost food. It, it, supplies lessens the, the cost of a man-at-arm. It's like what? Minus 10 food? 15 food? So there's a world, because Valus has lost so many vills, that he sees this and he thinks doubt is up. And he thinks Doubt's going to be on Longsword soon. So that could be confusing. But, like, honestly, you can fight with Castle Age Eagles against Man at Arms. It's not a bad engagement. And then you're Incas and you have an archer range. So I feel like a couple Slingers and Doubt's dead here. And there's there's the Slingers. What a great response here from Valis after that first game. And it was just the macro under pressure. And Doubt was applying pressure, but I don't know if he's going to be able to do too much from here. I mean, maybe maybe he backs away. Maybe he tries to click up. But it feels like he almost needs to go all in with numbers here. Because even if you're melee, you're going to advance up pretty quickly. But 
you had to make the decision to go up a long time ago before the triple barracks had to happen you click up and then you add the triple barracks it's a different situation but if you take a couple good engagements then that could change the slingers need to actually work together here they're very lazy slingers the manganel's done most of the work this far and doubt's probably like oh how did this happen? I killed so many bills, and it's just because his eco's been a mess. It's been a freaking mess. And Doubt now decides, all right, well, let's try Castle. And it's the right play. Like, click up, then try and produce more of these things, because then at least you can get the Longsword. Any other Civ, I'd say Doubt might not make it to Castle Age now, because the Siege is coming for his, his TC, but uh, I think he'll make it because he's Malay. Valis. He played so good against Daniel, who just one-upped him and somehow played better in their first round, but even though Valis lost 2-1 against a promoted player in Daniel, you could see Daniel's class, and it just felt like Valis wants to be in Platinum again, and Valis beat Doubt 2-1 in the previous season. Fun little fact I didn't bring up at this point. So he's, he's not gonna lack confidence against Doubt. Should mention the map pool was a bit more closed. But then we should also mention that Doubt picked the most closed map we have in the whole season to play against Valis. Which, I mean, it's just like so many weird storylines that just don't make any sense when you put them all together. But that's what we have. Doubt with the great man-at-arm counterattack of 2023. Having forgotten about his villagers getting picked off here by an eagle. I actually forgot they were still there. Valis repairing the ram with a very weak villager. She is motivated to kill Doubt's economy. <laughs> that is pretty epic. <laughs> DC's going to go down for Doubt. There's Doubt's counterattack. <laughs> okay. All right. It's going to be hard for him to kill Vils because it's Incas. But it's it's done something. And he's going to add mangonels, and he's going to have longswords. The population says this is still a game. Doubt's army's still getting kills. Valis has to make sure he maintains his position on the front and continues a push while also clearing this up. So yeah, like a couple slingers back home to deal with this. Then you should be able to get back to work. Love the outpost so you know that Doubt's going for his own siege here. And yeah, the awareness from Valis is perfect here. He goes in for the mango. He backs away in doubt. He may feel like this is over soon, but he is killing Vils. And it is Socotra. Crazier comebacks have happened on Socotra. Doubt's eco is in ruins, and he lost his market too. So now he can't really buy food or you know sell resources for gold. These longswords can't get anywhere close to these monks. That's smart, too. Convert the longswords instead of kill them. And you can use them on your side. And he does get more conversions. He also avoids the Manganel shot. He's confident enough to whoop, do a little dance there. And great job from Valis. And Dow calls the GG. And the series is tied. Wow. I mean, again, I kind of summed it up. Right after Doubt's tower went up, and I saw Valis going for a range. I just thought, Doubt doesn't have any range units yet. And then all of a sudden, he needed to, re to recover with the range units. There was a lot of shenanigans with his towers. I felt like Doubt had focus and headaches involving his forward towers that maybe could have been prevented with a couple walls. And even though Valis lost the berries, he had better food eco because he was farming away. He had wood. He had food. He had gold. Shifted in towards eagles. Knew we needed to have the slingers. The siege push was very well done. Could have easily lost more villagers uh, in a, right when he made the castle age, and he saved those two vills too. Like, Valis is on point here, guys. Also, gotta appreciate the ending population for Doubt being 47, and then it being 74 for Valis. You don't see that every day. Dang. Res collected in this one. Doubt collected more resources. Was it worse fights from him? Was it worse units? I mean... Didn't see much from him beyond skirms for a bit, and then I guess he went into man-at-arms. Honestly, I think maybe his way back would have been to, to drop the barracks, but don't hit man-at-arms and supplies until after you click up. 
Like, clearly, the decision to stay in Feudal and make Man-at-Arms was not it. If you're going to end up in Castle Age anyways, then maybe that was the mistake. But, like, at the point in which he did that, he had 200 food. So I feel like he felt like I can never go to Castle Age. So that's just not an option for me. Um, and then later, he, he just had to force the issue because the first try didn't work. <laughs> and here we are, game... Number three. So as it stands right now, okay, live standing, says this is the second round for both. Ballas has two wins. Doubt has four, okay? Um, Ballas wins this one. He goes up to three wins. Doubt stays on four. And then I think we've got Yo sitting at like five wins, right? So Yo five, Doubt four, Ballas three, Daniel three. The group really starts to take some shape. The Doubt picked this map. And we see him go for his third civilization pick here. He actually went... I thought Malay was going to be his choice for this map. And um, he... Sorry, words are, are failing me right now. Uh, but he just lost with Malay in the previous game. So that's interesting. I actually think Aztecs... And I had said when they were drafting that Aztecs would be for Socotra. So hopefully it's not a double whammy for Doubt Civ-wise where... He tried to switch it up and use the sieve that he originally wanted to use here in the previous game. And then he's not comfortable with this. So you have a neutral map, a uh, neutral wall in the middle. It is not a wall that anyone has vision over. It is the map's wall. It is God's wall, okay? Um, but it's just one. And so very frequently we've seen players build forward castles, make some unique units, uh, make some monks. And we've seen a lot of fast Imperial plays. So, I remember a time on Arena, which is different, but I remember a time on Arena where we saw this matchup, and all the Aztecs had to make was Skirms. Skirms and a couple Monks to convert any cannons. But, like, Aztec Skirms are insane. Bohemian Cav and Infantry is kind of meh. It's not great. I don't know. Do Bohemians get Gambasons? Does some, can someone tell me that? Because this was pre-Gambasons patch. I don't know if that makes a big difference, but... It should against skirms. Um, but yeah, in theory, like Bohemians, everything they make is all ranged, like gunpowder and archers and cannons. So you could just go skirm monk as a comp. But the worry is about timing, and I think Bohemians are the best if they go for the fast castle into the castle drop build and start to make wagons. Because what do you do when the wagons come to town? You've got to counter them. And what players do is they just rush redemption to convert the wagons. Well, this is what you do. You make one wagon. Someone tell me the price of one wagon, okay? You move in. Doubt's like, oh my god, he's going to make more wagons. I need to counter that. I'm Aztecs. I get good monks. Good. Doubt drops a second monastery. Maybe even a third monastery because he's worried about all-in wagons. He spends 500 gold on redemption to convert wagons. He gets four or five monks, doesn't even have to go above that, waiting for wagons. The wagons never show up. Doubt has invested like 800 to 1,000 resources into countering wagons. And then Valis just goes fast imp and then just converts all of Doubt's monks with his own monks that have more range. So that's what I think. 110 wood, 70 gold. Yeah, the wagons are a take initiative thing. And then what you do is if there's no... If... uh. If we do not see uh, Doubt make a lot of monks, then you make more wagons and you punish him for that. That's what I think. I genuinely think that Bohemians, with that approach, should beat most civilizations right now. I do think Portuguese can do a similar thing because they have the organ gun. And the organ gun, obviously, is like a siege weapon that players go monks to convert. It is also because I think organ guns are... are worse against mangonels than the bohemian wagons are they were also just buffed recently so they're more accurate too so yeah anyways i said everything i really want to say about this and i'm really sorry to do this but since i just spoke my piece and i'm hoping valis will show us what we're talking about i'm gonna step away for a minute because i have been hydrating today all right so i'm just gonna follow valis's scout and i'll be back Okay, I'm back. Um, wow, these guys have gone up really quick. So you know that whole thing I said about the wagon? Screw it. But to finish my thought, actually, on the wagon thing, because we're going to talk about it again. 
Um, as a counter to, to me being like, wagons, wagons, wagons. If that build is being executed, you might take down the forward castle from the Aztecs. You might convert their monks. But if the Aztecs went for an economic build and they get into elite eagle, eagles can push that back. Yes, Bohemians have the gunpowder, but the gunpowder is kind of pricey. Yes, I washed my hands. I washed my hands. Thank you, thank you. All right, so they're up. They're up very quickly here. They're, nothing's on stone. Whether or not they sell their stone will be interesting. I think Doubt will, because Doubt hasn't actually mined any gold. So that's a sign that he'll sell at least... Well, actually, he could sell wood. Yeah, he doesn't have to sell stone. Never mind. It, it's pretty realistic he just sells a little bit of wood. Um... Pretty perfect build, I'd say. Doubt sells the wood, clicks up. Dallas doesn't sell anything, clicks up. And now how do they distribute their eco? This is deceiving. Having villagers on gold could just be to buy food to get good eco upgrades. You're making use of the Bohemian bonus because you, you get the gold mining upgrades for free. But actually, I don't like not taking gold because I think buying res for this type of a build is probably better. And now, like, you need to at least have 100 gold to be able to make a monk to get your relics, right? So that gets a little bit interesting. <sighs> What's the plan? Double monastery, maybe? I think we see, like, booming monks, honestly. I doubt his economy is definitely going to be worse. I think. Res collected. He's got more right now. We'll see what that looks like in the long run. See how this goes. And seems to me like uh, we are going to see rather passive long-term play. Both players maybe having faith in their uh, abilities. And maybe it'll be like the arena game that's in my brain right now where we had Bohemians versus Aztecs, where it was at lateral skirms and monks against cannons. Gunpowder will slaughter the Aztecs a second time today. Well, it was a timing thing too, right? Let's see. Out sending four villagers somewhere? That's probably for a town center. Okay, never mind. Monastery. Interesting that he went with four villagers on that monastery. Defensive monastery from Valis. So there must be some concern from him that Doubt is going to go forward here. Interesting position. It's not bad, right? It takes you a little longer to get the relics. That's fine. You know what I'd like to see is instant fervor. Like, right after this monk, get fervor. Uh, maybe it doesn't have that much of an effect right now, actually. But anyways, the fervor and sanctity upgrades do affect the Bohemian Vills. And fervor's the speed boost, so that could be nice. But I think that matters more in later stages, and you might want to use that... Um, you might just want to get the relics quickly. Second TC for Doubt. Third TC. He wedged that bad boy in there. I'm still really curious, though, on Doubt's idle TC time here. I think he's going to have a decent amount, because he doesn't have gold to buy food. Valus should have, like... If Valus passes a minute of idle TC time before Imp, I'll be very surprised. He's been extremely greedy with getting some of these upgrades that Doubt can't afford. But he's able to because he's buying the food. And he also has delayed the town centers, right? But Doubt's farms are coming up pretty quickly. It is Aztecs. It's not going to be horrible. It's actually coming together quite nicely. He might only have a minute himself, actually. But that minute's going to come in now. And this is where, as a player, you're like, I want to buy. This is... Oh, this is smooth, actually. Oof, you need about six farms per TC to keep all the TCs running. Yeah, this is pretty smooth. Is this intentionally a 2 TC play from Valis? Also, his farm count's really low compared to Doubt's. Okay, I... I think I misjudged things. He definitely has the wood, though. He's got to pay attention to this. Doubt. He's reaching that minute, but his, his TCs are going to be fine. Res collected. Doubt's collected more food, more wood. He hasn't collected near as much gold. 
both players are going to have their relics. Doubt just made one monk, which I like. And he gets a bit more gold from that as well as we see TC number three from Dallas. Hmm, I, I actually think booming... Again, it's just that one game from months ago. I actually think this could be good for Doubt. If Doubt knows that Bohemians really struggle if you mass skirms. I also have no clue how good the new wagons are against skirms. So there is that factor. It would be horrible for either player to lose their scout to a conversion. Both players might be tempted to consider getting atonement here. If the monks are showing themselves, Valis just three TCs. But Doubt has more Vils. And Doubt going for the fourth TC. So Doubt happy to go late game here. Yeah, wagons will kill skirms early, but in the nature of a, a imp buildup, you typically have your castles forward and you're using your castles for trebs and whatever else. So I don't know how natural. Like, I think you'd almost need to build up defensive castles and stack them and plan around it initially. I'm not sure the wagons are good enough as a fallback. And and remember that the Aztec player will already expect the bomber cannons. Like, one of the big things that Bohemians will do is cannons. So I imagine we'll see things like Redemption and Block Printing come in already, in which case the wagons can be converted. I really like Doubt's approach right now. I mean, it's just, it's just boom is just a little bit better. Still curious to check resources collected. It's just the food in Woodico is actually really smooth. I think Valis could have had this town centers a bit faster. What's nice for him is his farms are going to last a whole lot longer. So he will have quite a bit of wood saved in the long term because his farms will be receding and he can make those buildings. It's a very doubt thing these days to get that heavy plow upgrade. So at this stage, I'm still a little surprised we haven't seen him squeeze it in. Ultimately, though, farm counts the key, so you can always get it later. Yeah, Aztec Monks is, might be the best Hoof Needs account in the game. Yeah, because of the HP, right? That's a very good point. But yeah, now these villagers are going to be super speedy for Valis. And both players will build up towards a castle. But they're going to build up towards a castle somewhat near the front, I imagine. Am I crazy or should they consider getting Atonement right now? If they see the other guy's got a monk forward. Is that... I feel like it's worth it. Probably not. <laughs> I just feel like you're going to look like a fool if your monk gets converted. I would do it. <laughs> I see your Aztecs and raise you Spanish Inquisition. True! Well then, oh man. I guess the HP though. The HP still feels like it's something I'd prefer. I guess it depends on what counter even means, right? Like... Is it a 1v1, you know, or is it groups? It's all situational. Res collected again. Super close. Same deal as before, just more gold income for Valis. Gold mining upgrades paying off. Love the stack of houses here because space is important. University from him. That's his second Castle Age building on top of the monastery, of course, so he can go imp. And uh, quite a bit of action over here. You've got to be careful, Villager. But I like what Valis is doing, making outposts. This is something a lot of players aren't doing that they need to be doing more. I think Doubt shouldn't be in the dark like this either. I think you should have one Villager outposting so you know. Doubt knows Skirms, though. This is a good call. And the defensive castle is also a really good call. Yep. And he's already thought about this. So a big line... And another Monastery. Yeah, yeah, Doubt knows. God, what game was that? I think it had Yo in it. I actually think it was Season 2. Okay, do me a favor. Someone go to Liquipedia, Season 2. Yo playing as the Bohemians on Arena. He lost. I think it might have been Yo Viper. So it could have... It might not have been Group Stage. It might have been Playoffs. Why do I think it was Yo Viper? 
That might actually might have been Hera. Yo. It, it happened. I'm just like trying to remember. It was the first time where I was like, whoa. It would make sense that I think it was season two. Because when else is Yo playing Arena? He played it in TTL. Range is coming up. So we could see skirms from both. Uh, chemistry comes in already for Valus. Bonus of the Bohemian. Sick eco. Yo lost to Arena against Tato. It was Bohemian's Aztecs. I don't think it was Tato. There's a Laddle. That's the upgrade. Plus one range, plus one attack on the skirms. That's the upgrade. And then the monks for doubt as well are key. Yo didn't fight any of them in season two. Not even in playoffs? Hmm. I swear it was Yo that lost with them. So. It was Yo against Hera season one. Aha! Okay, year ago. All right, there we go. Thank you. That makes sense. Hera actually did. He had two instances in that season where he went for the skirm monk thing. With Aztecs against Bohemians. And I remember there's another one on Fortified Clearing. Okay, so we have Hufnitsa right away. Crazy cannons. Here's where the concern comes in with Doubt. You ready? The micro. That's it. The units will be there. But it can still swing either way, right? Because the Hufnitsa can can melt monks pretty quickly. And the skirms. So it's that and obviously the RNG of the monks. Do they convert fast? Do they convert slow? Um, can Dal get the unit numbers out there and can he use them effectively? And does he want to combine anything else in there that actually raids? Because like neither player is really going for a raiding force. I really would have loved to have seen some more vision from Dal. Like this, this for example, is an example of... of like, Valus knows his opponent goes Skirms now. He knows his opponent goes more Monks. He knows Doubt has a castle there. This is this is a castle that Doubt will regret. I mean, I feel like the cannons can just mass up and take this one easily from the other side. There goes Doubt. We haven't had a kill in this single game. It's been a fun buildup. I really like this map. Especially games like this. We see a lot of YOLO games, but this is really fun. Doubt running in with those skirms. Currently, there's no counter to the skirms. Valis dropping a castle here. That'll be denied. Doubt's monks are ready as well. I, 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 Valis isn't ready for this. I think you need to bail on this, my friend. He's only got two Hufnitsa. Really expensive to get that upgrade. And he might need to just add his own skirms. Doubt's like, where? Okay, show me your cannons. Show me your cannons. Good. I, my skirms have more range than your skirms. My skirms have more attack. Show me your cannons. I want your cannons. Doubt don't run into the skirms. Doubt doesn't have ballistics, which is actually horrible. How many kills did Doubt? Doubt didn't he got one kill this game so far? Oh my god, he should have he should have killed that whole army. And this gives Valus time. He's gonna get heresy so the units don't switch sides, which feels worth it. Please tell me Doubt realized he didn't have ballistics there. Could be a pretty big deal. He's ready to push right now, guys. Also, Bracer wasn't in for Valis, too. It, it's true. Doubt didn't have redemption. That's actually really funny. <laughs> the fact that Doubt couldn't convert them yet, but the fear of it forced these things back. All right, so the monks are out there in the darkness. Doubt's looking right now, looking for the cannons. He's going to see the cannons. The Hufnitsa gets stuck, and they just decide to fire on the monks. And Doubt's monks, they're dying. They're not dying as quickly as other monks would. And now, a, now Doubt doesn't really have that many monks. He is trying to go for the castle, and he's also taking some stone from Valis, though. I think this is worth it. Literally just skirm monk. Bohemians can't do a damn thing. And okay, just back away with your monks again, and then your skirms are killing everything else. Yeah. Full skirm, full monk. Bohemians can't do anything. Well executed from Doubt. Really explains why he was happy to use the Malayan game too. And not use the Aztecs there now. The skirms are just so good. 
The counter to the skirms gets converted, and Bohemian Cav is very poor. Bohemian Infantry is not that great either. In the game I was referencing before, uh, the player tried to go like Light Cav, and the Light Cav were dying to the skirms. This is this is doubt recognizing the available options for the opponent. And this is Valis going for his best unit options that you can pretty much do against a lot of other civs with success. And he probably felt like, well, it's still strong. It's still Hufnitsa. It's still Bohemians in late game. It's still a ridiculous civ. Well, good luck with that. No ballistics, too, is still a thing. But you got to figure a thousand gold was sunk into heresy. So Doubt's lost a lot of monks. It still feels like this whole time his skirmishers are getting valuable enough kills. Doubt's making a tech switch to get into eagles. Because Valus has tried to now just match his opponent's skirms with his own. Because why make hand cannons? There's no reason to have gunpowder against the skirms. We see Faith! <laughs> Faith! Honestly, Valus, just like run a bunch of villagers back and forth so Doubt keeps missing his shots. Because... Doubt should be killing these vills much faster. Now he's getting ballistics. And yeah, I think Doubt's got enough res now where he just has to mix in eagles against the skirms or go raid, and this game ends, and Doubt wins 2-1. And, you know, it's it's what I would felt made sense for the series. Valus playing too good to maybe get 3-0'd, even against a player like Doubt, but... That's decision making. Really solid, guys. Really, really solid. Game number one. He had to counter the monk plays a bit. Did good, great economy to expand on a really tricky map. And this game, I think it was just too predictable of a sieve for Valus, and he knew the sieve to counter it. And it's not an obvious one. Like, it's obvious when I'm in the matchup to talk about it, but it's not like, um, I don't know, what do you consider a, a known counter pick these days? Like, I mean, Berbers versus Mongols is, is a tricky one. But, like, let's say that, right? Berbers versus Mongols is something that we think of, that we talk about. I don't really think of Aztecs versus Bohemians on a closed map, but I think it truly should be in that in that um, line of thinking. And the GG's called, and Valus is like, well, I can't do anything. I can't do crap with this Civilization versus Aztecs. He calls the GG. Doubt wins 2-1. Well played. Now... I would have liked to have seen Valis recognize that you're going to be completely slaughtered by Skirms and Eagles, try the initial build that I discussed in Dark Age, go for the wagons, try and make it messy. Um, that could have still had its weaknesses too. Doubt's boom was really strong. Doubt had prepped up defensively, so if he saw anything, he probably could have adapted in some way. Um... But like, well, well, no, well done from the Lord who the scriptures say is all knowing to realize Aztecs would would clap Valis here. And I remember when I saw the draft, it was right before Valis the second pick. I just said Bohemians and then it came in and I felt so good about myself when that happened. But notice the order of the draft, too. It's really fascinating, right? So you have Malay for doubt. He picks first. OK. The next two picks then go to Valis. Valis goes Lithuanians, Bohemians. The, then Doubt goes Turks, Aztecs. So Aztecs was on the following wave like he knew, ooh, I want that one. And ultimately, I'm pretty sure he thought about it a little bit, but that was the perfect decision from Doubt. 56k res collected. And Doubt is now tied with Yo in, um, in, the group, in group A. I'll show the results here in a second. With five wins after the first two rounds. Doubt's looking really solid. Could definitely be one of the favorites to win the group. But yeah. Um, economically, he was in an amazing position this game. Getting extra gold from the relics was nice. And he, he knew what to open with. I think for Valis, he just said, I have to go for my best unit comp. I have to try Hufnitsa. Hopefully I can kill these monks. Didn't work out very well. Those monks are too strong. And uh, maybe a bit of revenge from Doubt's after there were a lot of monks from Valis in game one. Uh, no, it has not updated just yet, but Doubt, with that result, goes up to five wins. Uh, Valis, after two rounds, is only on two wins. So he's lost both of his sets 2-1, which puts Valis under some pressure. Uh, obviously, though, still pretty early. Uh, for Valis, he'll have a series against Lix, who's also been struggling and 
Vallis would be the favorite there. Uh, Vallis versus Yo. Obviously, Vallis will not be the favorite, but potential to get a win like he did here against Doubt. And then I think this is going to be the relegation battle in this group, guys. Again, still very early, but I think Vallis running, I think that fifth round is going to be pretty wild to see who, who maybe stays alive here. But again, I, I don't know yet. I personally feel as though Daniel is playing the third best in the group. He took a win off of Yo. He could have won, beat Yo 2-1. Daniel has yet to play Doubt. I think he has what it takes to beat Doubt. Um, and he's yet to play like running or licks. So uh, maybe I've got some Daniel bias. Who knows? That's what Group A looks like, though. Great series between Doubt and between Vallis.